Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that's essential for everyone to understand. What happens to our heart when blood potassium levels get too high? You might be surprised by the answers, so make sure you stick around to the end. But before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any of our intriguing science content. Let's get started. We often hear about the importance of potassium in our diet. It plays a crucial role in maintaining proper muscle and nerve function, but did you know it's equally essential for our heart? Your heart is a muscle, and like any muscle, it relies on potassium to contract properly. Normally, potassium levels in your blood are tightly regulated to keep your heart beating in perfect harmony. But what happens when things go awry? When blood potassium levels rise above the normal range, a condition known as hyperkalemia occurs. So, what's the big deal? Well, let me tell you, it can be quite shocking. Your muscles start to misbehave, which can be quite uncomfortable. But the most concerning part is how hyperkalemia affects your heart. The heart of the matter. As potassium levels rise, your heart faces a real challenge. You see, high potassium levels can disrupt the electrical signals that control your heartbeat. Now, let's dig into the pathophysiology of how hyperkalemia affects your heart. Step 1. Resting membrane potential. In a normal, healthy heart cell, there's a delicate balance of ions, including potassium, inside and outside the cell. This balance creates a resting membrane potential, which is essential for the heart's electrical stability. Step 2. Depolarization and repolarization. During each heartbeat, the heart cells go through a series of events called depolarization and repolarization. This is what makes your heart beat rhythmically. First, depolarization. Here, sodium ions rush into the cell, making it less negative inside. This triggers the heart muscle to contract. Next, repolarization. Contrary to depolarization, potassium ions flow out of the cell, restoring the negative charge inside, which allows the heart muscle to relax. Step 3. The Role of Potassium Potassium is a key player in repolarization. It's responsible for the phase where the heart cell resets itself to prepare for the next contraction. Step 4. Hyperkalemia's Disruption Now, imagine what happens when your blood potassium levels are too high, a condition known as hyperkalemia. Excess potassium. In hyperkalemia, there's an excess of potassium in your bloodstream. This excess potassium can start leaking into the heart cells, disrupting the delicate balance. Step 5. Altered Electrical Signals As potassium floods into the heart cells, it can interfere with the normal electrical signals responsible for depolarization and repolarization. Irregular Heartbeat This disruption can lead to an irregular heartbeat, known as arrhythmia. Your heart may start to beat too fast, tachycardia, too slowly, bradycardia, or irregularly. And lastly, step six, worst case scenario that is cardiac arrest. In the worst case scenario, when hyperkalemia becomes severe, it can cause cardiac arrest. This means your heart stops beating altogether and immediate medical intervention is required to restart it. That's why, if you suspect you have high potassium levels or are experiencing symptoms of hyperkalemia, it's crucial to seek medical attention promptly. Doctors can assess your condition, provide treatment, and help bring your potassium levels back into balance, preventing further complications. So, there you have it, folks. Understanding the pathophysiology of hyperkalemia helps us grasp why it's so important to maintain the right potassium balance for a healthy heart rhythm. If you found this explanation informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and join our amazing community for more exciting science content. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay curious.